Hi guys, my name is Hanne and I'm the founder of Flow Fabric. Today we are going to do Vinyasa Yoga, which is going to help you detox, recharge and tone both body, mind, breath and soul. So step all the way to the top of your mat. Find hip width between your feet. Start with just find this length of your tailbone, moving the belly button a bit closer to the spine so you can feel how you elongate the lower back. Sharing your weight equally between both feet. Sharing the weight equally between all four corners of both feet. Then start activating your thighs so you can feel yourself lift the kneecaps a bit up. Then take the shoulders, roll them around onto the back. Shift the tip of the shoulder blades in the direction of the heels. Then we turn the palms a bit forward. We soften the jaw and we reach for the crown of the head. Arriving here on your mat from wherever you've been both physically, emotionally and mentally before. Now is here. Good, and inhale, reach your right head overhead, right arm overhead, reach. And then exhale out to the sides, both arms. Inhale, left arm. Exhale, stand, reach. Be strong in the quads the whole time. The hips, they keep turning forward, moving forward. Tailbone keep reaching down. We find space in the side body. Good, right arm goes over. And with the exhale, we turn right arm forward, left arm behind us. Inhale, left arm over. And then exhale, right, left arm forward, right arm behind us. Right arm over. And twist here. Left arm over. And twist. One more time. And twist. And then left side. And twist. Good. Reach both arms up. Shoulders still go down. Nice it into your knees. Place the hands on the thighs. Take shoulders still onto the back. Then inhale, arch here. We're doing cat cow in Urkatasana. Exhale, round. Inhale, back of the head close to the tailbone. And exhale, forehead close to the hip bone. Soft jaw, mouth, throat from the inside out. Super. Find Utkatasana, so reach your arms upwards. We have an upper arm on opposite side of the ears. Unless your shoulders are needing you to shift them further forward. The crown of the head reaches up and we sit a little deeper down. Grab through all four corners of the feet. Grab the mat a bit with your big toes and the rest of the toes. Good. Inhaling here and with the exhale we take the hands to prayer pose in front of the heart. Inhale, lengthen out the spine. Then take right elbow onto the outer side of the left knee. And if that's too much, just take the right, the back of the right hand onto the outer side. Yeah, look down to the knees. Make sure you're the same distance from the top of the mat. Breathing here. And then come back to the center. Utkatasana, still sit down. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, twist the other side, back of the hand or elbow. Look down to the knees, make sure it's the same distance from the top of the mat. And then maybe look to the side, but respect what the neck needs here. So with an inhale, we come back to Utkatasana, so still sitting down. And now we exhale into Uttanasana, forward fold, bend the knees as much as you need to. Let's start walking out the legs here a bit. Yeah, you don't have to 
stretch them all the way out respect whatever you need here take this movement all the way up into the hips and the lower back let the head get a move bit of movement here as well as the neck turns soft mouth jaw throat from the inside out super finding ragdoll poses we grab the elbows And then let go of the elbows. Inhale, come halfway up. Good. Step the feet together so the big toes are kissing. We have a little bit of space in between the heels. Then we sit down deep into the hips, deeper than Utkatasana. Knees and hips try to become parallel. We walk the fingertips onto the mat or floor. We roll the shoulders out of the ears so the neck is nice and long. And we can stay here. We hop the outer hips into the midline. As if somebody had their hands on the outer hips, really moving them in. Belly button lifts, pelvic floor is working, so that's our Uddiyana Bandha and Mula Bandha. Maybe we take the arms off the mat, we don't have to, yeah? Maybe reach the arms forward, but we keep the shoulders out of the ears. Breathe here, find Uddiyana Bandha, Mula Bandha. Soften jaw, mouth, throat. And one more inhale. Mm, then hands come down. Let's step the left knee out behind us. Lower down into a low lunge. Reach the arms up. Reach the hips forward. Find this length in your tailbone and then move energy down through the front foot into the mat. Good. Exhale here. Straighten out the front leg. Hands maybe find the mat. If the mat is too far away, you can keep the hands on the hips here. Point toes in towards the heart and reach the heart out towards the toes. Good. And plant this foot, find your hands, come into three legged downward facing dog. Let's keep the left heel lifted and the knee a bit bend. And then place this foot down. Let's just walk out the dog here. Straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Good. Super. Lift both heels. Lift the left leg now. Bend the right knee a bit. Push through the hands. Shoulders out of the ears. And then step this foot through. Lower the back knee down. Low lunge here. Mm, glorious breath. Filling you up with space. Moving energy down for the front foot and then come to your hamstring stretch here. Hands down or maybe on the hips. Energy between the big toe and the heart and vice versa. Good, then place this foot down, come to Utkatasana. Now the big toes kiss, but we have space in between the heels. Sitting down here, reaching arms up. Tailbone long, grab the mat with the toes, hands in front of the heart. And we find an inhale to lengthen out the spine. Exhale, right elbow or hand or forearm onto the outer side. Look down to the knees, make sure they're glued together at the same distance from the top of the mat and take your shoulders out of the ears and maybe turn the neck here. Sit into your hips. Breathe. Uddiyana Bandha and Mula Bandha are hugging in towards one another. And then inhale, come to Utkatasana. Exhale, other side. Straight onto it. Breathing here. Adjusting your knees. Looking to the side or down, or maybe looking up if the neck is okay with that. Good. Inhale, Utkatasana. And then exhale, push through your feet, come to stand. Good. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, come halfway up. Separate the feet half or hip width apart. Bend the knees as much as you need to, you can reach the floor with your right hand. Maybe it's the fingertips, you can also have it on top of a block. And then reach the left arm up. Yeah, bend a bit more into your right knee. 
And then from here, start squaring off the hip so we move the right hip up in space again. Maybe we start working on extending out the right and the left leg a bit. Or further out, working towards straight legs if that's in your in if that's available to you. Good. And then come down, bend knees soft. Opposite side, left hand in the center, bit in front of the feet, the left knee bends. We come in, we fight the twist, and then from here we start lifting that left hip back up in space so the right and the left hip becomes the same distance away from the mat. Good, and then soften out of it. Step the feet together, big toes kiss, heels are a bit open, sit deep in here into your little package fingertips on the mat or maybe reach the arms out to the side or forward breathe take shoulders out of the ears everything hugs in towards the midline Mula Bandha and Uriana Bandha contract in towards one another and thereby you can lift your belly a little bit off your thighs one more nice deep inhale then exhale hands come down step the left knee out behind you leave the left hand and line with the right heel and then come into your twisted lunge here. Energy down through that right foot. And if it feels good, you can lift the back knee off the mat. Yeah, make sure you're still moving right hip back in space and a bit down. And then moving left hip a bit forward and up. Yeah, so they become parallel to the mat with your hips. Fire up the back thigh if the knee is not on the mat anymore. Good. No matter if you're on the knee or the toes, from here we're going to activate the core and lift all the way up. We're going to keep the twist in the upper body. Inhale. Stay. You can stay on the knee, shoulders out of the ears, and then come down. Find your first plank here. Inhaling there. Exhale to lower. Cobra up with facing dog and then come back to downward facing dog. Good. Lift the right leg high. Exhale. Move this knee towards the same side. Tricep. Inhale. Lift it up. Exhale. Towards the left side. Tricep. Inhale, lift it up. Good. Right side. Maybe we extend the leg out to the side. Inhale, lift. And now towards the left side. Maybe we extend the leg out to the left. Inhale, lift. Good. And step this foot through. Step the other one up as well. Inhale, come halfway up. Set yourself up for Utkatasana, so the big toes kiss, the spacing between the heels. We lift up here. Exhale, hands together. Lengthen out with the inhale. Right elbow onto the outer side of the left knee. Yeah, adjust the knees. Maybe we open up the arms this time. Move. Left hip a bit down, right hip a bit up so they square off. Yeah, maybe if it feels good, you can look up here. And then come to the center, Ukatasana still, onto the other side, elbow onto the other side. Of course, you can still do the option with having the back of the hand or forearm onto the other side. Or we can open up here into airplane arms. Good, and come to the center, Ukatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. And you step the right knee up behind you. Finding your twist here. Right hand stays in line with the left heel. It's a good way to start out in this twist, being on the knee. Here we can adjust the hip so we actively go and we draw this right hip a bit back and down underneath us. At the same time, we lift the left one, and here you have the option to stay, or we lift 
the back knee up, but we keep the hips squared. Shoulders out of the ears, fire up that back thigh. Breathing through that twisted spine. From here, you find an inhale and you lift the upper body up. Yeah, using that core. Finding another inhale. And then come down to plank. You're gonna move through a vinyasa your way. And then come back to that one facing dog. When you get here, inhale to lift the left leg. And then exhale, take it onto the same side, tricep. Suck that knee up as high as you can. Inhale. Really use the exhale as you empty out to lift the belly button higher. Good. Onto the left side again. Maybe we extend the leg out to the side. And the same option as we reach the knee towards the right side. Then we step the foot through. The other foot follows. Utkatasana coming up here. Good. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, chance to lengthen the spine. Then right elbow onto the outer side of the left knee. Maybe we open here. Good. Check the knees. We don't want that left knee to slide back and the right knee forward. We want them right next to each other. Then from here we take a bit of momentum as we lift the right heel. Then we step that right foot out behind us. We can lower the back knee down, of course. And we come into a twist here. Draw the left hip back. And underneath you fire up that right thigh. Good. Maybe you look up. Super. From here we're going to lift up into a standing twist. Inhale. And then exhale. Come to warrior two. Planting the back foot. The right foot. All the way into the mat. Sitting into that left knee. And then take the hands together in prayer pose. Extend out the front leg. Bend the back leg. Coming in here into a ninja squat. And stay up high or come deeper down. May we come down so we can lift the toes of the left foot to point up. Good. And then shift all the way to that left side doing ninja there. In your own height. And then shift back to the right side. And then shift over to the left again. Good. And turn around. Front of the mat. Come into plank. Exhale. Lower your way. Half or all the way down. Cobra upward facing dog. And then come back to downward facing dog. Let's step the feet just 20 centimeters or so closer in than you would usually. And then take the right hand onto the outside of the left thigh or calf or ankle. Take the left ear away from the left shoulder and vice versa. Square off the hip still. Look underneath that left armpit. And then change. Shoulder out of the ear, breathe, soften jaw, mouth, throat from the inside out. Good. And then from here, downward facing dog. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, walk, step or jump to the top of the mat. Setting up for Utkatasana, inhale halfway up. And down. Sit into your hips, Utkatasana. Yeah, we have another side. Exhale, hands to heart first. Using that inhale to create length in the spine. Tailbone down, crown up. And then left elbow onto the outside. So right knee. 
Good. Open up the arms if that's where you feel it's okay to go for you. And then a bit of momentum as we lift the left heel. And then we step it up behind us, coming into a twist here. Of course, you can lower that left knee to the mat. Yeah, suck the right hip back and underneath you. Activate Uddiyana Bandha, Mula Bandha. Core, pelvic floor, fire up that left thigh. And then from here, use the power through your feet and in your core, lifting up into that standing twist. Hey, hey, balance. And then turn it into warrior two as we turn around, plant the back heel and sit into the front knee. Soften jaw. Super, hands together. And then exhale, take it into that ninja as you straighten out the front leg. You can come down here or deeper down. Of course, you can have the hands on your legs for support on the floor. Good. Let's find an inhale to travel to the other side. And then take that exhale to travel back to where we came from. One more time. Good, and travel back to the top of the mat. Turn around, find your plank. Moving through a vinyasa. Good. Walking the feet a little bit in, so we do our twist here again. Grabbing hand to out of the left leg. Looking underneath the left armpit. Shoulder out of the ear. And then do other side. And then come back here. Lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward with the exhale, walk, step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, come halfway up. And forward and down. We lift halfway up again, we step the feet together, big toes kiss, a little space in between the heels. And then we sit down into a tight little package here, everything hugs in towards the midline. Arms go forward, or maybe they don't if that doesn't feel right to you. Uddiyana Bandha, Mula Bandha, hugging together and thereby lifting the lower belly a bit off the thighs. Soften jaw, mouth, throat from the inside out. And then come all the way up to stand in here. Hands to heart. Separate the feet hip width, part. Just arrive here, closing the eyes. Feeling whatever atmosphere you have around you. Just noticing what's there as you stand here with closed eyes. Maybe you can even envision whatever space you're in. Whatever physical space you're in. And then start noticing whatever energetical space you're in. eyes open take the arms down inhale open up maybe open up into a back bend here as you lift the heart higher the tailbone still reaches for the heels the feet they grab the mat and the quads are active and then exhale forward fold inhale halfway up step back into a plank inhale here Lower down, half all the way. Cobra, outward facing dog. And then come back to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Exhale, hop this knee to the same side elbow. Maybe you extend the leg out to the side. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, left 
or to the left elbow, maybe you extend it out to the side. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, step this foot up in between the hands. Now take the left knee and bring it to the outer side, the little toe side of the heel. And then we sit down here, coming into a seated twist. Ground both sit bones, place the right hand behind you. Inhale, lift up to lengthen, and then exhale to hop this right knee. Maybe you place the left elbow onto the outer side. If you have bind in your practice, of course, you can work these. Maybe look over that right shoulder. And then find an inhale to take you back to the center. Now take that top knee, the right knee, and place it over the left knee. Both heels come closer to opposite side hip. Take the arms out. Then take the right elbow below the left, actually crossing above the elbow joint. Then cross the forearms, turn the palms towards one another, and then turn the thumbs so they're pointing in the direction of your nose. Here we lift the elbows up. We can stay here or maybe we fold over the legs. Keep both sit bones grounded. And then we sit up here. Good. Now we place the hands, we somehow come to plank from here. We exhale to lower half all the way, doing vinyasa in your own way. Eventually we're going to get to downward facing dog. We're going to inhale, the left leg rises. And then hug the knee towards the same side elbow, maybe extend out. Inhale, lift. Exhale, opposite side, maybe extend out. Inhale, lift. And the foot comes between the hands. The right knee comes to the outside side of the heel. We sit down, both sit bones ground. Left hand behind you, inhale, reach, lengthen. Exhale, hug. Or place the elbow to the outer side. Or again, if you have binds in your practice, you can work with these. Arriving. Good. And turn towards the front of the mat. Place the left knee over the right knee. Place the heels close to opposite side L, uh, side hip. Arms out. Now we cross left on the right, crossing the forearms, placing the palms, or maybe it's just fingers on palm. Then the thumbs turn in towards your nose, and we lift the elbows up, but we lower the shoulders out of the ears. And here we can stay, or maybe we fold. And then lift up, come to plank, one more vinyasa. And then downward facing dog. You can stay here for next eight rounds of breath, or if you have headstand in your practice, and you want to lift up into headstand, this is a good moment to do so. Lifting into that inversion and then stay for another five rounds of breath if that suits your 
inversion practice today. You just take your time whenever you're through this. We're gonna meet up in child's pose. And from child's pose, you're gonna find your way out and on to lie on your back. Go when you get there, just hug your knees in. Yeah, you need to adjust your hair <laughs> to be comfortable here. You take a moment to do that. Just giving the knees a nice hug. Maybe rocking and rolling a bit from side to side. Massaging out the lower back, also adding your long deep full breath here if you've forgotten about it. Finding your way back to that ujjayi breath, filling up the tummy. As we lie here and we rock and roll, we're massaging out the lower back, but with the breath we also get to massage the inner organs and help our digestive system even more. Just like these twists have also been helping our digestive system function more optimally. And detox. Place the heels down quite close to your sit bones, the knees point straight up and then we lift the hips off the mat. Let's interlace the hands below us on the mat and then walk a bit from shoulder blade to shoulder blade so we can walk them closer together. And then lift even more in the hips by moving the heels further down into the mat. Activate the quads. Breathing space in here. Good. Let go of the hands. Let's melt down here. Crossing the right ankle over the left knee and then bringing the left knee closer in towards you. And then doing the same thing to other side. And then letting this go, placing the soles of the feet together, letting the knees fall open out to the sides. And then placing one hand on the heart, one on the belly. Soft mouth, jaw, throat from the inside out. Soften that little line in between the eyebrows. And this could be your Shavasana for today. If you feel like going into a regular Shavasana pose, do like five rounds of breath here and then transition into your comfortable corpse pose, shavasana pose. We we'll get to spend a couple of minutes in this final pose and I will wake us out of it. So just find wherever you feel comfortable being in this moment. And allow yourself to arrive there.
letting go of the control of the breath and just letting it move through you, move with you, move you, as it now feels natural for the breath to do so. Breathing more deeply again. Start moving your toes and your fingers. Eventually you reach your legs out if you're still in Supta Baddha Konasana, recline butterfly pose. We're all gonna just reach through arms and legs here. So we're waking ourselves up at the same time. The workers which I'm working on a building here in the background where I'm filming this they're also waking up place your feet in the floor and just roll over for one moment to lie on one side and let everything settle here so now we have hand or we have workers in the background working reminding us that there is a life existing beyond this mat and this practice and this is a good reminder for you to take the choice of bringing whatever you found on your mat with you. Whatever you found on your mat today in your practice, bring that with you into whatever you have left of your day. Feeling blissful on the yoga mat is beautiful. The true magic happens when we can transfer that with us into the rest of our lives. Even though if we have other people, like workers in the background, interfering with our, with our reality. Push yourself up to sit. Place your hands in Anjali Mudra in front of the heart. Lift the corners of your mouth into a soft little smile. And then blink the eyes open. Namaste.